So Michelle and I are in Uti in Tamil Nadu in India. We're staying in a beautiful little hotel called Kingscliff, which looks out over the hills and the tea plantations of Uti down to the city below, but it's high enough up in the hills. It's lovely and peaceful and quiet. You're a big girl, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Hmm? You're a big girl. Comes. Two cows, one pregnant. Not well, two pregnant, I think actually. <laughs> two pregnant. Two pregnant. <laughs> Heading down the hill where the wild boar were just now. <laughs> There's a siren, you might not be able to hear it, you may. Goes every night, maybe. Goes in the morning, the other morning, about sort of black in the night, o'clock, three o'clock in the morning it went. I don't know what that's about. So the siren we just heard in the background, the gentleman here tells me it's the, the government, some sort of government working siren to say, you know, knocking off, it's six o'clock and that's the end of work. Now old school, like they would have had in the mines and things years ago. And I've heard it, I'm sure, in the middle of the night. Michelle doesn't think I have, maybe I'm dreaming it, but I vaguely remember hearing it once when it was pitch dark but the guy says seven in the morning. I don't think it's dark at seven in the morning. No, I think I heard it when it wasn't dark, so I think, yeah. he, I think he's right. <laughs> I'm certain I heard it uh, in the last hotel we were in, right in the middle of the night, and I thought, what on earth is that going on? So it's a siren, something to do with announcing work. And if you're in the city, it's really loud. I mean, super loud. Who wants that going off at seven o'clock every morning? <sighs> alarm clock <laughs> <laughs> certainly is good morning imagine if you can at the time of the British Raj a lot of the low-lying lands in India were very hot in the summer very dry they were also exceptionally humid and quite hard living conditions so what tended to happen is the British built uh, small towns up in the hills called hill stations where their families would come during the hottest of the summer days and in these hill stations, they built cottages that were reminiscent of the English cottages that they knew back home. Um, and those cottages are still here today in Uti, which is a hill station uh, above Mysore or Bangalore. And it's one of the places the British would have come to escape those hot summer days. Now we're actually here in the middle of winter and it's a lot cooler, but it's still quite pleasant you know you get cool evenings but because they built these lovely old English style cottages they had log fires uh, we've got a log fire in our room a lot of these older properties have been converted into hotels and homestays but if you have a look around the gardens you'll see a lot of influence from the British there are English style gardens English plants in the gardens just take a look here hedgerows pansies growing it's the perfect climate actually, it does remind you, I see a clematis there up in the, uh, the bushes, it does remind you a lot of England. So if you come to India and you find yourself here in the summertime and it's super hot, well, you can always come up to one of the many hill stations and enjoy a sort of break from the summer heat. This hotel we're staying, this would have been uh, a house for probably a family. It's also got some quarters at the back which have been converted into rooms that we're staying in. I'll just take you for a little walk through so you can see the style of the house because this is over a hundred years old now this cottage and it's, it's showing signs of age. But I'm guessing here on the side you might have had a sort of little vegetable garden perhaps. There's even rhubarb, look they're growing rhubarb down here. Uh, these herbs. So this would have been a herb garden. I think this is possibly tarragon. I can see mint in here as well. It's a little bit overgrown but this would have been a little herb garden alongside the house. Let's have a little wander inside. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm just going to go through the, the house, the where it would have been. Uh, these gentlemen here, his front office, 
and uh, Shikar, he's housekeeping, looks after the house, keeps all the fires lovely and hot. He's a really lovely, both lovely guys, Noble Paul and Shikar. But look, you'd have walked into this first living room area. It's getting, the Christmas decorations are up here at the moment. Beautiful fireplace, but just look at the timber work. This is all the original old timbers. And that's all, that's actually all carved wood and British style brickwork and that elaborate carving above the mantelpiece. So this would have been probably the reception. There are several rooms going off of here. Uh, currently this is used as a dining room, but you can see again, beautiful fireplaces, log fires. It's just amazing, lofted ceilings. Now these corrugated roofs I don't think are original. I think they would have had tiled roofs originally. Just look at this dressing table here. It's got a, a plastic handle on it now, but it would have probably originally had these sort of maybe brass handles. You can just feel the history. Yes, I think this would have been the dining room. There's a serving hatch here. So the kitchens were out that way, which is where they are now. And then they would have had the food served into here. And there are a number of other rooms going off that may at one time uh, be bedrooms or drawing rooms. Another beautiful fireplace. Shirkar, the old fella here, has been here for many years. He sets up these fires roaring every single night. Look at this window. Look at the timber. Look at the timber work round here. Can you imagine? when this was built a hundred years ago, just how grand this would have been. The families coming up from possibly Bangalore, from that hot summer just to escape, would have been full of children's servants probably as well, um, enjoying the call. Morning, good morning, how are you? Morning, sir. How are you sir? I'm very good, very good. Now at the back here, um, there are more bedrooms, the kitchens are out through here, the current kitchens, because this is being used as a hotel. This place is called Kingscliff, and all the rooms have names, Midsummer, um, Othello, they're all Shakespearean names. Just come out of this door here, another little courtyard, and this building here, it is all, we, we can't quite work out what this might have been, whether it would have been servant quarters or maybe for guest quarters uh, the front section has probably been added on earlier but this uh, the original middle section of this building good morning the, the, uh, the middle section is where we're staying look at the view the whole property looks out over Uti and there are many tens if not hundreds of these buildings in the valley of Uti going down into the the old town of Uti which is now very uh, developed but these beautiful old uh, English style cottages are still here so I highly recommend you coming uh, and visiting a hill station or two whilst you're in India do make it a, a priority it's really nice particularly if you're in the summertime for us it's it's quite cold but the room has a log fire in it it's been lovely and warm staying here a big thumbs up uh, to Kingscliff where we're staying at the moment what you never have known and can you ache for a place that was never your home no misgivings or shame like a moth to the flame To burn up or fizzle alone Can you know who inhabits your skin? And can you trust that you won't blow away? your hopes or let go of the ropes in the hope that you someday descend just follow Just 
country? Yeah, Australia. Okay, very good country. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Sandal, jasmine, lotus, nut champa, white mus, green jasmine. We make 600 type pieces.